Hello, future Seahawks. My name is Mrs. Smith. I am the seventh grade counselor here at Serrano Intermediate, and I'm so excited to welcome you all here in the fall. Today, I'm going to be going over the elective form with you to make sure that you're really taking your time and doing a good job, um, and then you're getting the choices that you want for next year. So if you look here at the form, the first thing you're going to do, of course, is watch the principal's message. He has some good information about how electives work here at Serrano Intermediate. So after you watch that, you're going to put your current elementary school, and then you're going to put your student ID number. Your student ID number is a six-digit number, and it can be found in the family portal just to the right of your school picture. It's also the number that you use to put on the pin pad when you get lunch at school. Next step is going to put your full last name and full first name and make sure that this is the last and first name that reads in the family portal as well, in your student portal and in ARIE, so your legal last and first name. Once you get to the elective offerings, there are two different types of electives. First is our year-long elective, which is just like it sounds. If you choose a year-long elective, that means you're going to have the same elective all year long. So that would be our band, orchestra, ASB, PAL, choir, and AVID classes. Some of those classes do require an application, which I'll show you in just a moment. But if you choose a year-long elective, that will be your elective for the entire year. The next type of elective we have is our trimester electives or the elective mix. That means you'll have a different elective each trimester. Some examples of those are art, personal finance, intro to Spanish, digital photography, or future of technology and business. So if you think that you're more interested in having something a little different each trimester, this would be a good fit for you. Of course, we also have our STEAM elective. So if STEAM is a program that you're interested in, you want to make sure, like Mr. Young said, that you put that as your first choice. So right down here, when we get to the choices, you're going to make sure that you choose three electives, your first, second, and third choice by marking the appropriate box. So whatever your first choice is, you're going to mark that. And then you also need a second and third choice just in case your first choice is full. There are, if you look here, for example, under application for ASB, AVID, PAL, and your book, there are links there to show you a little bit about what that class is about. So that's kind of fun to watch. So make sure that you take your time and you really choose what you want because we use this form and your choices to build our master schedule for next year. So once you've chosen your three choices, then you will choose whether or not you would like a zero period class. So remember from Mr. Young's video, video he said that zero period starts at 7.15 a.m. So if you're going to take zero period, you need to make sure that you can be up to having this commitment all year long, which means parent, guardian, however you get to school, they need to make sure they can get you here by 7.15 every day. Now we give priority to our STEAM students who are also taking a second year long elective. So if they're STEAM and they wanna take band or orchestra, something like that. If you are choosing the elective mix, then zero period is not an option for you. That is only for our kids who are gonna be taking two year long electives. Once you go down a little bit here, you will see that some of our year long electives also require an application. Our STEAM program also requires an application. So make sure if you picked any of these electives here that you click on the appropriate link and complete and submit the application. Please remember that once you've completed the application, you still have to come back to this form, complete and submit this form. So we need both, both your application and this form submitted. You can choose more than one application-based elective. So if ASB is your first choice, you would apply for there. But let's say you chose your book as your second choice, you still need to fill out an application. So if any of these are your one, two, or three choice, you need to make sure you're completing the application. That is pretty much it, pretty simple. Make sure that you turn this in by April 10th to ensure that 
um, we have your applications in time and your Google form submitted in time to get you on our list. If you have any questions, you can contact us. You can either contact me or you can contact Ms. Trahey, whose information is listed on the form. I'm so excited to have you guys all here in the fall, and I hope you have a great summer. See you soon.